Honor Shalom. I'm going to start off by giving all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. On double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone, teaching will well, peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect, the brothers pushing this truth throughout the four corners of the earth, to the tabernacle of David, the men, women, and children listening and learning to you. I say Shalom. All right. <clears throat> um. My name is Ed Karat, side of the Mana Valley Las Vegas camp. You know, back with a, a lesson today. You know, we're just going going to um, you know, brotherly love. It's going to be called a, a a a few words. You know, for the for the body. You know, coming in to these times, we we coming into you know, it's gonna uh, you know, as we know that the the dollar is gonna eventually crash, but you know with <clears throat> you know, inflation from from gas to food. You know, uh, we got to be able to uh, support one another. You know, and and be uh, charitable. You know, to 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 the whole body and for the whole body. You know, giving willingly. You know, seeing a a, a brother in need. You know, if if you have to, you know, uh, kick him a few dollars, and it's not all monetary. You know, sometimes. Uh, you need to be charitable with your um, with your knowledge and wisdom, you know, advice, you know, uh, how to maneuver through situations, you know. But, you know, right now, the times we're coming into, yeah, uh, pockets going to get thin. We're going to come into some uh, more trying times, you know. So brothers need to, need to ride to camp, you know, you know, do that willingly. You know, don't do it with... Uh, you know, intentions of, of getting something back from it, you know, because, uh, you know, we're all members of the body. So I got a few scriptures pulled up, you know, we're going to uh, go through them. This is John 13 and, and 34. It says, A new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you, and that ye also love one another. All right. In verse 35, it says, By this all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have love one to another. All right, that's Yahweh Shai speaking. You know, so ye know that ye are my disciples if ye have the same love, you know, I have for, for y'all. You know, Yahweh Shai considered his, desi his disciples his friends. All right. So we got to be uh, charitable to that. And um, having that, that, that um, you know, that charity, but without, you know, thinking anything in return or thinking of anything of it, you know, giving to somebody, but then holding them to it or saying, hey, remember that time, you know, uh, I helped you out, you know, bringing up all the old stuff that you did for them, you know, making them feel like you owed, uh, that they owed you something. You know, that's not the spirit. All right. Let's try and get this camera right. That's not the spirit. And that's not what, yeah, what Yahweh Shai told us to do. Okay. Let me grab this in uh, Matthews 2. Because, um. Let's lock here. Gone. So uh, Matthew 22 and, and 35, it says, Then one of them, which was a lawyer, asked him a question, tempting them and saying, Master, which is the greatest commandment in the law? Yahweh Shai said unto him, Thou shalt love thy Lord with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. Okay? But right after that, and the second is like unto it, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself, on these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Okay? And let's go into that word. You know, neighbor is talking about the body. It's talking about, you know, the elect, you know. When you go into the uh, the word, uh, it's in Greek. For neighbor, it's in the Greek word placeion, G4139. And it says, A neighbor, a friend, any other person, 
and where the, their two are concerned, and the other, thy fellow man, thy neighbor, according to the Jews, any member of the Hebrew nation and commonwealth. All right? Hey, it's talking about the Israelites, but but first uh, first and foremost in the times that we're in, the elect, because that's the only ones that we, we are doing this thing for, to bring back the elect of Israel. So we got to be, you know, charitable to the elect. And, and since we're the hopeful elect, you know, not knowing that, that we are of the elect, but we strive, you know, and, and have faith in that we may be a part of it, you know, we have to uh, do likewise. And be charitable to the body because, you know, as a, I'm going to get this in Romans chapter 12, but I just want to read, you know, um, at the top. Uh, I'm going to skip through, you know, Romans 12 and we'll get to the point. This is Romans 12, 12 and 1. It says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. Okay. And part of that reasonable service, not just going out on the highways and byways and preaching the word, you know, and, and um, <clears throat> you know, keeping the laws to the best of your abilities. But it's giving that, that brotherly love, you know, being charitable to one another, giving the helping hand to, uh, to, to um, you know, members in your camp and outside of your camp, you know, uh, that, that are, uh, you know, that are going through some things, man. It says, and, uh, verse 2, it says, And be not conformed to this world, but, ye be, but be ye transformed by renewing of your mind. That ye may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. So, you know, and being charitable, you know, you're helping this brother out, but you're doing the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai at the same time. Okay? So, uh, <clears throat> so, so by helping another brother out, you know, you're giving that helping hand, you know, straight from the Most High. You know, he's using you, you know, to give that helping hand. So don't think that it's not being seen, you know, that renewing of the mind, you know, for, for you know, this purpose is um, renewing your mind from the worldly ways because everybody in this world is so greedy. They just want to take, take, take instead of give. When, like, uh, for example, Christmas, you know, you, you, you give a gift, but you expect one to, you know, people buy somebody a gift. But then they expect to be bought one themselves. Nine times out of ten. Okay. So, um, so yeah. Let's drop down to verse uh, 4. This is Romans 12 and 4. It says, For as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office, so being many are one body in a mashiach, and every one members of one another. All right, so you you really helping yourself, you know, because we all go back to that one body, the one body in Hamashiach. All right, so when a brother's down, you're down with them, you know. That's how I feel, you know. Me personally, you know, if a brother's struggling, I like to give him, uh, you know, what I can. If I can't give it to him, then you can't give it to him, but. You have to, you know, if a brother is hungry and I got some food, best believe I, I'm going I'm to, if, if I really need to eat, then I'm, I'm, we, we're going to split this, this, uh, you know, whatever I got, this sandwich. If I don't really need to eat and I can last without it, you can have my sandwich, even if it was the only thing that I was going to eat today. You know, that's, the, that's the, the renewing, you know, not having that, 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 um, spirit of um covetousness you know not uh not just doing something for for gang say on this side because best believe we going you know uh the elect you know and the nation of israel you know the glory of the kingdom you will receive temple right all right so let's get to the point that i want to grab in this um romans 12 and 10 it says be kindly affection one to another with brotherly love, in honoring, perform, prefer, uh, in honor, preferring one another. All right, not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. And I want to grab uh, two words in verse ten. 
to dig a little deeper and it's gonna be a, and the first one is gonna be in honor and it goes back to the uh, Greek word to me it's gonna be G5092 and it says a valuing by which the price is fixed of the price itself you know to honor uh, uh, so so you know that price you know it says uh, defer deference and or reverence all right so you know the the um you know whatever it is you know the you know giving to um giving you know because out of out of reverence you know because you know we see the value in this brotherhood okay to make that to make that point and then the next word you know in, is preferring all right and it's going to be uh the greek uh, greek word uh, g4285 and it's going to be uh all right and it says to go before and show the way to go before and lead to go before as a leader you know and there's many different ways to be a leader you know and just because you're following order doesn't mean that you're not being a leader in itself okay but you know to lead you know lead to be charitable don't wait for somebody to ask you if you know this this brother needs some help you go ahead and do it all right don't have that 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 need you know we gotta get ourselves out of these uh, worldly uh, thoughts you know and that's uh, part of that renewing of the mind earlier in the chapter when you go into the, we are all one body so if one brother's down we all down with them that's the mindset you know that's the mindset that you have to have and then not slothful in business fervent in spirit serving the lord okay so we're going to grab this word so when you when you're charitable brothers you're serving the lord hey that's that's the point right there but fervent in spirit you know having a a a, a, a wide spread you know spirit and this a uh, on not slothful in business. This is what I want to grab the word business. And it goes to the uh, Greek word spude. And it's G4710. <clears throat> spude. And, it's, and it means haste with haste, earnestness, diligence, earnestness in accomplishing, promoting or striving after anything, to give one all diligence. Interest oneself most earnestly, you know, so from from truly from the heart, you know, that's the through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you know, through diligence. So be diligent, you know, in in, in giving. You know, make sure you helping other brothers out. You know that because it's the spirit and and um, you know serving the Lord. Okay, so I got two more uh, scripts. This is a. Uh, Peter, First Peter, four and eight it says, and above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves, for charity shall cover the multitude of sins. Hey, that right there, that's another way, you know, to, uh, you know, to to get your sins covered up. You know, through the faith and belief in Yahweh Shai, you know that he was the, that ultimate sacrifice, right? fervent charity you know not just small but a but a big amount of charity you need you know so charity goes to agape you know we know what it means to be chari charitable but let's read it for those who don't affection goodwill love benevolence brotherly love you know philadelphia is that brotherly love so you know brotherly love how that that brotherly love covers up a multitude of sins all right and we know that that we can't be perfect in this lifetime we know that we're not all right so this is the last scripture you know um 
Hebrews 13 and 1, it says, Let brotherly love continue. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some may have entertained angels unaware. It says, Remember that remember them that are in bonds, as bound with them, and them which suffer adversity, as being yourself also in the body. Okay? Hey, we 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 suffering with them, you know, going back to uh, Romans 12 and 10, where all the members of that same body, one in Hamashiach. All right, I'm going to drop down to five. Uh, Hebrews 13 and five. Let your conversation be without covetousness and be content with such things as ye have. For he has said, I, I never leave thee nor forsake thee. So what... So that we may, may boldly say, the Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do to me. Remember them which have rule over you, who have spoken unto the world of the Most High, whose faith follow, considering the end of their conversation. And it goes on to say, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach did the same yesterday, and, the, and, and today and forever. All right, what did he tell us? He said, you know, to love thy neighbor, you know, love your uh, your brothers going back to um with John let's grab that John and thirteen again for re edification to tie it all down. John thirteen and, and thirty uh, five by this shall all men know that they are my disciples if ye have love to one another. Alright we got to love this brotherhood and, and being charitable in it, man. You know, it's just the way it's got to be. And these times we're coming in, man, if, you, if you're able to give to those brothers, man, think of it in this way. You know, you're helping out yourself because we all go back to that same body. So, Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson. And I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekach, Wadash. I'll double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone, teaching will well, peace, blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect. You know, the, the tabernacle of David, the men, women, and children listening and learning to you, I say, Shalom, wa, ba, ba, ba.